Hello all, this video is on 7 inch HDMI touch LCD for Raspberry Pi. This is the 800 by 480 capacitive HDMI touch screen. A HDMI cable and an USB cable are supplied along with. The display is controlled over HDMI interface and the touch is controlled over USB interface. Connect the short HDMI cable to the Raspberry Pi and then connect the USB cable to one of the USB ports of uh, RPI. The RPI needs 5 volt 2 ampere power source as we are connecting external peripherals to the USB sockets. Slide the switch to on position. Connect the USB cable to one of the USB ports of uh, RPI. You can connect the RJ45 cable for uh, internet uh, access. On switching on for the first time, you can see the screen is not full. It is not full screen, but the touch is operating. To enable full screen, switch off the power, remove the SD card and then plug into PC using card reader. Open the config.txt file using notepad++ or wordpad. Scroll down to the end, append these lines to the end. Max USB current is set to 1 to enable USB socket power of uh, Pi to 1.2 amps. HDMI group is set to 2 for uh, monitor support. For creating custom HDMI modes, set the HDMI mode to 87 and then define the CVT coordinated video timings here 800 is the width 480 is height 60 is frame rate 6 is the aspect ratio for 15 is to 9 margins are disabled interlace is progressive and uh, reduced blanking RB is normal append these lines to the end of config.txt file and then click on save now remove the SD card and then uh, place it on the Raspberry Pi and power it on now you can see the screen is full but the touch response has uh, degraded the touch response is not perfect to correct this we have to install the driver the drivers are same for a 5 inch uh, HDMI LCD as well as 7 inch HDMI LCD. Visit the Waveshare website and scroll down to the bottom. Under driver, you can see the LCD iPhone show driver. This is the tar file. Download the tar file. By default, it is uh, downloaded to the uh, root downloads folder using file manager copy this folder to home pi downloads right click and then extract to click on extract to to extract the tar file you can also do this under terminal but under file manager it is convenient to extract easily Now open the terminal and then change directory to home pi downloads where we have stored the tar file and extracted it. LS will list the files. Here you can see the LCD iPhone show folder. Change directory to LCD iPhone show. ls will list the files lcd phi iphone show is the driver to be installed to install driver use the command dot forward slash lcd phi iphone show immediately it will reboot
you can also switch on the power again after reboot you can see the touch is perfect the screen is also full and touch is perfect now let us see how to install the virtual keyboard under terminal use the command sudo apt iphone get install matchbox iphone keyboard this this will start installing the virtual keyboard when prompted click on y to start the installation once the installation is over under accessories you can see the keyboard icon if not click on preferences and then main menu editor and click on accessories make a tick mark with the keyboard and go back to accessories you can see the keyboard icon open the keyboard and then use it it is very convenient and avoids the physical keyboard thank you for watching